Welcome back to Emily's Paper Caper and welcome to Stamping Sunday. This is an open collaboration hosted by Thelma Hall and Crafton by the Pond. If you're new to my channel, I love to scrapbook, rubber stamp, junk journal, and make cards. Today I am going to show you some stamping I've done recently in my scrapbook calendars for 2024. They're not completed yet, but I have a really good start on them, and I thought it would be fun to show you what I've accomplished so far. I've been using these letter stamps to stamp the names of the months, and then I've used these peg stamps to put in the dates on each month. And I've gotten through August, but I have some more to do. So I have two eight by eight calendars and to be able to fit them in on the screen, I'll show the months on this side and the scrapbooking on this side. So they really look like this, but it will be hard to show up on camera. See how it cuts off? So I'm gonna show them side by side and so that you can see what this is looking like. Well, here I've stamped January with these stamps and then I've gone in with my dot letters. I call these dot letters. They look like this. I got these years and years ago off the free table at a crop and I love them. I don't know why but I've never tired of these stamps and so they're a real favorite of mine and they were perfect for stamping in the dates. Now I want to show you I make mistakes occasionally which we're human, right? I wanted to show you there's nothing you can't fix. Like I must have made an error on this A and I've stamped it on a white piece of paper and just pasted it right over. I don't even know if you can see that, but the um, anything is fixable. But I'm also not going for perfect either. You can see that the, the numbers are not perfect. There's a flaw here, there's a flaw here. I could point out flaws all day long, but that does not change the joy I have in creating these and I don't think the recipients of these will care one bit if there's a little flaw. They know I'm human. So another thing you can do on a stamped calendar like this is put in a little symbol for a birthday. A lot of times I'll use stickers on my calendars but I have this cute 2003 Stampin' Up! candle I got it for half off at a thrift store for five cents, and I've used this a lot. I use it for signatures on the back of cards. I'll stamp, I'll stamp a tiny stamp and then add my date. I did a video about this, and I will link to it up in the card if you wanna see what I'm talking about for signature stamps. But I want to go ahead and add birthdays to this calendar. I'll just show you how I do that. January 27th is my sister's birthday, so we're going to stamp a candle. And then later I'll go in and say Denise, and that'll remind me that it's her birthday. Let's go ahead and look at the rest of the months. February. I'll go in and add photos to each month. In February, we have two family birthdays. My brother is February 3rd and my mom is the 12th. I did a lot of the decoration on these calendar pages with supplies that my friend Renee sent me in a swap. We each stuffed little photo albums like this. We stuffed each page with embellishments and supplies and sent them to each other. We had a lot of fun with that and I have just really enjoyed using everything she sent me on these calendars. If you'd like to see that swap video, I'll put it up in the card for you. Here's April and April 20th is my husband's birthday. So let's get a little candle added. For May, I just love the flowers that Renee made for me. I have 
tried to make some of these for friends as well. I just really cherish using these flowers on my creations because I just think they're so unique and interesting and my friend made them for me, so I love them. Here we are with June. And July, July 23rd is my birthday. I made a lot of mistakes on this one. You can see I just covered it right up with papers. I don't think you even really would notice it if I didn't call it out to you, but I just want to share, you know, how I make mistakes and how I fix them. This is as far as I've gotten. We have an August birthday that I'll need to add. My sister-in-law's birthday is in August. And I still want to show you the rest of the months and how I stamp the dates. So here's September. To help me make sure that I'm getting the dates right, I've pulled out a Dollar Tree 2024 planner. I like to just set that out while I'm stamping. And I think I'll use prize ribbon for September. And here's how I do this. I will just show you one month. I think it would be boring to see me stamp multiple months. So I do all the ones first. So I do the one and then I do the one for 10 and 11 and so on. Now we're gonna add the twos. just with my eyes glancing back and forth making sure that I have things on the right dates and if I don't then I'll cover it up with white paper and fix it. of the months and how cute they are. There's October. Each one is a little bit different though. Let's see, but they're all themed for the month. It's November and December. Let me know if you have any questions. I did purchase these on Amazon and I will link to them down in the description if you're interested. And be sure to check out everybody else who is participating in Stampin' Sunday. It is a lot of fun to see what everyone does with their stamps. <laughs> 